guys, the Fox here, and welcome to episode 2 of Civilization 6 Aminitors Nubia. Woohoo! <laughs> I still need a proper name for this series. So, yeah, don't forget to suggest um, names in the comment section. But, yeah, we're back here on Civilization 6. And I am exactly where we left off. The only thing that I actually ended up doing in between the recordings was just choosing this tech research which I put towards currency. So yeah, um, we have an attack force here sort of ready in order to invade Chertum Lake. But unfortunately, I can't really declare war against... Yeah, I need to wait five turns before declaring war. Oh, by the way... I realized that there was an issue in regards to the animations on the previous recording that we did and I decided to disable the leader animation so that it's only going to show a still picture now which is kind of unfortunate but I can't really do much in regards to that sadly so I guess let's go to the next turn there's an Egyptian chariot archer already right next to our borders and actually I want to take a look at the audio it sounds a bit lower than usual is 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 the problem I'm having. We're producing another Pitati Archer over there. Those are gonna be essential in order to go ahead and invade Scythia. So Germany we know is in this game, but we haven't met them yet. Um How many turns do we have to process before actually being able to declare war? Just five more turns. Alright. We can wait that. Let's keep those units in a, on her borders. Let's send this Pitati Archer down as well. Also, the quality of this uh, of this recording may be a tad bit different from what the previous one was because I, I was messing around with settings to see if I could get um, the leader animations to actually work, but it didn't seem to be working, which is a shame. Somebody builds the Oracle, which kind of is kind of a problem I think hopefully it's, it's not Congo it would be a serious serious problem if it were to be Congo because Congo or Brazil for that matter because both of them can get really really OP um, when can we declare war we can declare war you have betrayed the trust of Tamaris and now you will pay very fine let's steal this we can now shoot We can shoot actually. Alright, so we'll move you up over here. Awesome. So they have a set of archers over there which they're actually using um, in order to attack us. But we have a lot more combat strength. We should be able to contain this, in, uh, this attack from her. So if I move this unit over here, I can shoot with all of them. All right, I can take the city already. That's that's pretty good. Awesome. <laughs> All right, that happened. Um, we already got a city. These archers are so strong. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I was All right, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Wow. Those archers are really really strong. We need to keep moving on to Marius, however. I do not want to... Yeah, I think I'm going to try to go for Mathematics because I do want to get Petra in this next city that we're going to found, which is going to be over here. Awesome, we got a new city here for ourselves, which I think I'm going to use towards um, getting... Oh no, this city is really lacking on production, isn't it? Um, Open borders with Egypt. Uh, sure, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. I need to build a commercial hub somewhere, however, because as you can tell, we're not getting any more gold input, which is always a bad thing. Can I actually make it over here? Because that would be pretty good if I could. Let's do it right here. On the meantime, let us swap these around. And this guy needs to fortify until healed. And we can now finally switch our government. Let's go for an oligarchy so that we get some extra military strength as well. And unit maintenance definitely needs to be reduced. 
and possibly plus two gold. Um, no, we're still working towards our religion. Maybe soonish, but not right now. So let's put plus two influence points towards getting envoys. With the envoys, actually, what happens is that you can get these envoys and you can use them in city states. We haven't really met any city state as of now, which is um, a bit sad, but it's not all that big of a deal. Let's keep moving here towards Scythia and see what we can find. But definitely let's make sure that all of our units are fully healed. That that really didn't take all that long. I, I can't believe that I actually managed to take that city so fast. We should probably go for drama and poetry so that we can get some extra culture. Oh, and I just realized that I forgot my timer. Oh, snap. All right, let's see. So I have been recording for six minutes, which means that we have another... How much? So six out of 25. We still have 19 minutes, roughly. So, all right, once it's four... Um... 4.20. <laughs> 4.20 in my time. PM, obviously. Um, Alright, so that archer is trying to escape. That's not gonna work, though. And you should probably go over here. That unit still needs to heal. And you are probably gonna be able to finish it off. Awesome! Great! And we already got a promotion due to the fact that... Um, due to the fact that we get extra... Um, Experience points. That's what I was trying to say. So I'm gonna put this over here because I definitely want to get one of those um, District or not in district improvements, but one of those temple things Let's take a look here again. I want to get the Nubian pyramid. I want to get it right adjacent to this right here by the looks of it. I'm not gonna have all that many cities Yeah, this one is gonna be able to have one but not all of them which is Oh, hello! Hi, Germany! Would you like to visit our nearby city and sample our hospitality? Sure, I guess. Where's Scythia? Oh, there's Scythia. Alright, I see. So let's keep moving. This unit is gonna be healing back here. We need to send this one over there. This warrior. I forgot to move the warrior. That's a problem. Can I send you a delegation? I need 25 gold. Oh, I don't have that. Oh snap, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Alright, so we're moving into Scythia's territory here. I only have an ar a few archers though. Hopefully she doesn't have any walls. An unmet player has been defeated. He wants open borders for... I cannot... Huh? Okay... He sent me this deal, and then, and then he he said it, that he didn't like it. All right. Uh, sure. I guess. Let's move this over here. I kind of want to take a little peek. Oh, there's Pakrovka. All right. So we can't shoot. Let's back off for now. It does has walls, and that's a bit of a problem. We need to move all of our units accordingly. They are already shooting at my Pitati Archer, which is a bit of a problem. Our friendship with Egypt has um, worn off. So let's see. I probably want to get incendiary soon. Let's send this Pitati Archer over here as well. Let's see. Probably over here. Here would be the best place to put it. Also, let's move this warrior over here. 101 turns? Oh my god! A bit of granary <laughs> instead. Yeah, that's... I think we reached the location with that settler. I'm not too sure though. We need to fortify until healed over here for a tad bit. Um, we definitely... Can we declare friendship with Egypt? I've counted Caesars and Pharaohs among my companions. What makes you think you are worthy? You're warmongering, so I am getting some warmongering, uh, warmonger penalties for some reason. Because this is the classical era, but hopefully that's not going to be too much of a problem. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good, a good place to pop down a city, Napata. 
Hello, Nepada. You need a granary first, so let's produce that. Welcome to the United States of America. If you conduct yourself well, you can consider us friends. Would you like to visit our nearby city and sample our hospitality? Awesome! Egypt is my friend again. Let me send a delig- Oh, I can't send a delegation because I don't even have enough gold for that yet. <laughs> oh, a religion! We got a religion! Awesome! That's very good. I do wanna- Hmm. I do wanna check if I can produce a- What's it called? A siege tower or anything of that kind. Because taking that city is gonna be really hard. Now- Religion, what Nubia, what should I choose as Nubia? Um, you know what, let's go with Confucianism or Sikhism. I don't think it really matters, does it? <laughs> yeah, let's, we may as well go with, what, which religion have I not used yet? Zoroastrianism. Let's go with Zoroastrianism. Shrines and temples provide food equal to their intrinsic faith output or provide housing. Housing is fa fairly tempting. Also production. Uh, shrines and temples provide plus one housing. I guess, or food. You know what? Yeah, let's go with food, and I will probably choose a Watt for a religious building or a meeting house. Actually, a meeting house seems more um, useful, I think, because of the extra two production. So let's go with a meeting house and feed the world. I think those are quite decent policies. We're gonna keep you over here. I got a boost towards theology due to the fact that I founded myself a religion. Right. Uh, you can move up here. You can fortify over there. United States wants open borders. You have my thanks. I mean, what, what do I have to lose anyway? I don't even know where I met the United States, so I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. Let's send him a delegation. And we have enough faith to purchase a missionary, so we should probably look towards getting some of our cities already converted to our religion here. We can now see a few of the districts that Pokorovka has. Um, we definitely need to start moving in. I feel like the audio is really, really low. Let me increase that a little bit. There you go. If anything, I can change it on the recording. So I'm probably going to move this up here. Move this over here. Let's shoot... Probably the city center, because it seems to be dealing a fair bit of damage to the city center. Can I shoot with any of you? I can't. But that is doing a lot of damage to the city center. So this should hopefully go very smoothly. Oh, she's willing... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> she wants me to give back her city. I am not doing that. The city is now mine, my dear. Can I... I can't shoot over here. Maybe if I move this one over here and this one over here. Let's destroy the walls of Pakravka. There you go, the walls are, are finally gone, we can now try to move this one military unit over here. It's gonna take a few turns, or two turns roughly. Scythia doesn't seem to be doing anything though. Oh no, that's a bit of a setback. Actually, never mind, we managed to get rid of it with a single shot. These units are absolutely strong, oh my god, I did not realize how strong those Pitati archers were. Look at how much damage they're dealing to the city center. Alright, sorry about that. I actually had to do something here real fast, but I'm now back. And by the looks of it, 
we will be able to continue this invasion force towards Scythia. This is our capital too. Oh, America's sending me a delegation. My diplomatic delegation should be arriving soon with some fresh baked apple pies. I'm sure you'll give them a warm welcome. That's very good. Thank you, America. And here comes the, <laughs> the counter defense work from Scythia. So let's make sure to use these particular archers in order to get rid of that. Um, and we'll use these two other archers over here in order to attack the main city center. So we'll send you over here, and you are gonna go over on this hill. Very good, awesome. And you are gonna convert He. Maybe not now, maybe on the next spread. And she is willing to give me Chertum League, but not her capital. Sorry, Scythia, but that's not really a good deal. Looks like somebody has attacked this Pitati. Oh, I captured that unit. Uh oh, that was that was a bad move. I did not want to move it over there. That was a bad idea. Okay, we're gonna have to use this unit in order to kill it. We did it. And I think that possibly their capital is gonna fall right now. Is it? No, just next turn. Let's switch you around. Just because of the fact that this unit has actually no crap. That was a, a that was a bad a bad decision. Uh yeah, I guess you can go to Meroe. I'm gonna have to send it over to the other cities in order to make sure that I can Uh, sorry, I kind of lost my line of thought there, but so that I can get roads connecting all of these cities Pakrovka is gonna fall soon. I commend you on your prudence to aid that city-state is to invite death. So this is Germany's agenda Which makes it so that they um, They like civilizations that don't mess with city-states. Let's give you a promotion shall we and you can now shoot over here and I kind of want to switch you around now that I think of it because that was a poor, a, a bad idea. On the meantime, let's keep promoting all of these uh, units that I got here. And you can sleep over there, that's fine. It's going to give a promotion level to this warrior, that's why I switched them around again. It makes me happy you leave the wonder building to us. Oh, just for now. Just you wait. <laughs> Oh yeah, we should probably actually move the trader over there. Now let's take the capital. And we got it. The Empress falls, but I will be remembered. Will you? Oh, trust me, Scythia, I will. I will, Scythia. I will be remembered and I will make sure that I will be remembered. So that was the invasion of Scythia. That was a lot a lot less work than I expected. These Patati archers are so strong. Definitely a good unique unit. That is really strong. They have a potential of becoming a huge warmonger in the early game. That is that is incredible, I gotta say. That is actually incredible. All right, now let's move a little bit with this archer. I want to see what I can find, possibly other spots to settle. I guess we can go towards Sailing or the wheel. I kind of want to get a siege tower, but also a catapult sounds really good. We can get a heavy chariot. Allows clearing of marsh, allows builders to embark. We don't really have all that many coastal cities. We may as well just go towards the wheel. We need to get a few more cities, however. A few more settlers, if possible. Germany wants to be my friend. So this is good. Despite the fact that I've been a warmonger, people still seem to like me, which is good. I guess I'm gonna send this, <laughs> this unit to go exploring. And this one can get promotion level and now we have another city a new city of Pokrovka 
to to add it uh, to be added to our empire. So Scythia is gone, which means that we only have five Scythes now, and there's only one we haven't met yet, which I am not sure who it is. I wonder if this is an actual continent's map, because it feels like I met everybody so close together. I feel like I should probably... yeah, let's, let's send this warrior over here. I may wage war against Germany soon, because I do see that they have a city over here. Let's send some of our military units back to fortify inside of some of our cities as well. This be Taddy Archer, and this one you can also go to Meroe. I cannot abide a ruler without dignity, and the world must be made aware, denounces you, you have different governments. So America dislikes us. Different governments, first impressions, and uh, my warmongering. Fine. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me. There's a nice little lake over here that I definitely want to settle. So I think we should work towards getting a settler. But first of all, in Pakadavka, I kind of want to make sure that I get the city growing again. This city is going to take a hit. It's going to be really bad for, uh, for the city because of the facts that we took it with one population. Let's build a market because we definitely need to get some more gold um, income here for us. Germany is already sending its apostles. We're not producing enough faith to counterfight that, which is a bit of an issue. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem, however. And now in our economy, Policies, economic policies, we can finally go ahead and get plus two gold from all trade routes. And let me take a look at how much time I've been recording. So 24 minutes it says, but I had to stop for a second. Which was, I think, three minutes or so. So probably... Yeah, I think it was three or four minutes. So we probably have five more minutes or so, which I think is good. Now, in regards to our civic tree... I feel like we should probably go for games and recreation because the Colosseum is f is fairly, fairly strong. We can also go to the Mausoleum on Helicarnassus. The Mahabadi Temple would be great. So let's do that. We need to keep... Oh, Gilgamesh of Sumeria, King of Europe. Do not be afraid. I am good to my friends. It's an honor to meet you. And exchanging information in our capitals is a great idea and it should help promote trade. How can you let those barbarians run amok so close to your home? But there's no barbarians over here. What do you mean? Well, Gilgamesh is here, and Gilgamesh likes people that are friends, or like that the keep friendships. Now, let's take a look at the rankings. I'm obviously leading on domination, despite the fact that other people are fairly stronger. America, as a matter of fact. America's leading in a bunch of factors. Hmm. This is fairly dangerous here. Tomarius has been defeated. Yep, yeah, we already know that. Oh, a Sumerian war card. So he's probably up towards there. I thought this map was a continent one, not a Pangea. How come everybody has spawned right here? It doesn't really make much sense to me. Maybe there's a notion in between right here. Yeah, I'm not too sure, but that's definitely a bit odd because everybody seems to be way too close together. Which, I mean, it's great for a domination victory with uh, the way I'm intending it to go, but it's kind of odd. Kind of odd, to be completely honest. Let's send... Yeah, I mean, you can stay over here, I guess. Have sent a diplomatic envoy to you. Treat them as you would treat me. The Duke of Swabia, King of Burgundy, King of Germany, King of the Romans, King of Italy, and Holy Roman Emperor. Your delegation is most welcome. Aketaken. Alright, I, I need to get a scout somewhere. Um, I lost my early scout, which is always a bit of a problem. So I'm having to use this archer as a scout, which is never ideal. We got a boost towards apprenticeship. All of the world knows my generosity to my friends. Let us be friends, not enemies. Oh! Ah, uh, this is a bit of a predicament, isn't it? I'm friends with 
three out of the four civilizations that we have to defeat. This is a bit of a predicament. Oh look, here's Germany. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Let's get a scout. And I think I may end, end up this episode fairly soon. Let's just wait until we get the pyramids. You're a good friend and ally. Gilgamesh will remember this. Awesome. We need to get a scout, def definitely. Because I don't like this Pitati archer to be exploring around, to be completely honest. I feel like it's a bad, bad idea. I definitely want to... Oh, what? A barbarian encampment spawned right here! That's... <laughs> That's interesting, I guess. I guess we can send this warrior over here to try to clear it up. In the meantime, what should we research next? So we have the Jabel, uh, Jabel Barkal. You know what? Two iron provides plus four faith to all cities within six times. Where would be a good place? You know what? Yeah, Chertum Link. Ch Chertum Link. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> but yeah, Chertum Link, definitely. If we can get it over here, wait. Oh. Hi, cat. <laughs> I think the cat is warning me that I should probably end this episode soon. Hang on, Keaton. Yes, I know. But, alright, so in regards to that wonder, the Jabal Barka, which was also added on the DLC, um, we should probably put it over here, is my guess, probably. Can a city of mine reach all the way over there, is the question. I don't know. We're gonna have to plan for that later. And in regards to my culture, or my civic tree, we should probably research defensive tactics because of the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. Hi, cat. My cat just jumped onto my desk. No. Cat, please. Alright, let's wait until we finish the pyramids. Let's go exploring a little bit. I guess I can move you over there and with you, you can attack the scout. Now, this is the Petra city that we wanted, if I recall correctly. Yeah, this is the Petra city we wanted. Um, I think I'm probably... Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's do a builder before we do Petra. I feel like that's my best bet in this case. And I should probably get some more faith as well. Alright, what about the pyramids? When, when, when? Two turns. So two more turns and we should be fine. Let's attack the scout and let's attack this barbarian encampment. And you can move over here. Oh, there's another city from Egypt. Cleopatra declared war on Gilgamesh. Oh, that's... From the height of these pyramids, 40 centuries looked down on us. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the pyramids are my favorite wonder in this game. They give extra one extra charge to all builders, which is absolutely insane. You do not realize that we're supposed to be the permanent builders of wonders. I'm sorry, Germany. Apologize profusely. Uh, let's see. I guess we can come over here and build a Nubian pyramid. It's gonna give us extra faith as well, and district production here is going to be a lot a lot faster which is always a good thing let's make a temple possibly or a campus should we make a campus uh how's our science looking in comparison to everybody else oh okay wait what i have more science than all of them yet i'm um, last what about culture oh america's leading a lot in culture maybe a, uh, a a theater square putting those things adjacent to this um to this nubian pyramid is going to be really helpful because it's going to give extra yields i'm pretty sure to the nubian pyramid so i definitely want to do that or work towards doing that at least Oh, you know what? I just realized the time. <laughs> Snap. Alright, um, let's just finish this turn right here. I may actually build a theater square right here. Because it's giving me plus two. 
Let's get rid of this barbarian encampment now. There you go. Um, that has been solved. And I guess we can now finish this episode here of Civilization VI, Amanitor's Nubia. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and make sure to give me suggestions for the names of the series because I'm so not too happy <laughs> with the name that I set for this. But Oh, and also make sure to take a look at my public Discord on the description as well. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode and I will see you all again on the next episode. Sorry for saying episode so many times. Goodbye, everybody.